Hello all, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Zotero Reference Manager in Google Docs. One of the great advantage of Zotero Reference Manager is we can use this in Google Docs also so that we can get the other benefits of Google Docs also. So there are four steps in using this Zotero Reference Manager. First one is downloading the necessary softwares. First is you need to go to the Zotero.org site where if you click on the download section, you can see the Zotero Reference Manager download. Here I'm using Mac OS. So by default, it is showing Zotero 6 for Mac. Otherwise, if it is a Windows PC, then it will show the necessary download for Windows. Since I am accessing the Zotero software through Google Chrome, so it is suggesting me the Zotero connector. So I need to successfully download these two, that is the Zotero Reference Manager software and the Zotero connector, which is specific to our web browser, which we are using. In this case, it is Google Chrome. Zotero connector will appear like this. The icon will appear like a book page like this. So if we keep the cursor here, it is showing. So whenever we open a web page, if we click on this web page, automatically the details from the web page will get extracted. It will be automatically synchronized in Zotero Reference Manager. So this is the first essential download when, when we are operating the Zotero Reference Manager. And when we download this Zotero connector, automatically, if you open Google Docs, so if you check this document, automatically this Zotero will appear here. If this Zotero connector is successfully installed as an extension, the Zotero will appear as one of the heads in the Google Docs top. So this is successfully done. This is how the Zotero Reference Manager appears. So there will be three columns. So where you get this folders and groups column and uh, duplicate items, retracted items, all this will be in this column. And the middle column, that is a broader column, will have the details of all the references or the citations which we have imported for our reference purpose. And here, if we click on this individual reference, the individual details will appear here. If you want to edit this or change or add any of the missing details, you can do that. So that will reflect in the document also. So we are all set for using the Zotero Reference Manager. The next step in Zotero Reference Manager is create an account and sign in to the Zotero Reference Manager. And we need to sync our Zotero account details with this Google Docs access ID. Then we are all set to use this Zotero Reference Manager. The next step is to import the references. So there are various ways which you can import the references. For demonstration purpose, I have created one folder called Zotero Demo. So this is right now empty because we haven't downloaded or imported any reference into this folder. So when I keep this open and I go back to the Chrome page and I want to cite this article. So when this article is open, when I keep the cursor here and click on that, automatically it is getting saved Zotero demo. It will get saved. So if you go to the Zotero demo, automatically this details has been extracted. So all the bibliographic elements, that is the type of the article, title, author names, journal name, DOI details, all has been extracted here. Then the next way I am going to show the entry of details through DOI. So I am just copying this DOI DOI details, that is digital object identifier. I'm copying this details. I come back to Zotero again. I click on this add item by identifier, which is indicated by a torch. I paste these details. I press on enter or return. So then the details of that article also appears here. Third way I'm going to show is the extraction through PDF. I'm going to download this article, this PDF. And after successful download, I go to uh, Zotero demo. I click on this uh, attach button. So add stored copy of file. So there I search for this article. So this is that article. So I open this article. So then the details of that article also appears here. The other advantage of this Zotero is that you can use this as a reading tool also. So if you click on this PDF symbol, this PDF get open. So you can read this article, you can add comments, you can highlight a particular section. So that way you can store the details of the PDF. So this Zotero also functions as a good reading tool also. Then the fourth way I'm going to do is the manual entry. So for manual entry, you need to click on this first icon. So I'm going to enter a journal article randomly. I am entering some details. So I'm writing diabetes. I'm writing my name. So that way I'm doing some ICM or something like that. So if I leave like that, the details will be incomplete, but still it will appear. This is the third step that is importing of references, how we have downloaded the PDF. Same way we can download the citation file also, which appears in each and every site. If you click on this site, then automatically it asks for the format. Dot .risk file is specialized for this Zotero. So you can click on that and you can select the download. And after downloading that, then you can import that to the Zotero, like how you did for PDFs. After successful importation of references, we are going to operate Zotero Reference Manager in Google Docs. So we have three functions when we are operating this Zotero reference 
reference manager that is creating the reference and the bibliography or the list of references and second one is changing the reference list and third one is changing the reference style first i am going to show how we are going to incorporate the references or the citation here so we need to click on this zotero we need to click on add or edit citation then it will automatically open your zotero reference manager imported references will appear here in our folder of zotero demo so if we click this then that reference will appear here same way we can go to zotero add citation i am adding this second reference then third reference then the fourth reference i'm doing the same thing again i'm clicking on this manual entered reference after incorporating all the citations then we need to provide the list of references or bibliography for that we need to go to zotero again we need to add or edit bibliography if i click on that then automatically this will appear for now this zotero document is having vancouver style so because vancouver style is selected it is showing vancouver style if you want to change the reference style to apa you can have this apa 7th edition click if you click on ok then the reference style will get converted from vancouver to apa style you can see the reference list here how it got changed suppose you want to change the reference list then you what you need to do is you need to cut this document and paste it here when i paste it automatically zotero is getting updated then the third reference has become second and the order also changed here so likewise it is automatically refreshed so the advantage of zotero reference manager is you can incorporate references you can change the references then you can change the reference style also and this reference style is not limited to a few numbers if i click on this by default the reference styles which i have downloaded already will appear here you want some other reference style then if you click on that manage reference style then you need to go to this get additional reference styles then act there will be nearly 10500 references appearing here based on that you can change your reference whatever the journal or your university has and if still you are not able to find the reference which you are expecting you can make that reference through the csl editor that is called citation style language the video demonstration for that csl editor in zotero is shown in cards now you can access that way you can change the reference styles also that is how we operate this Zotero Reference Manager. So you need to download, sign in, import references and incorporate change references and you can change the reference styles also. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please share it to your friends. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.